Hello everybody, Prince the Bear here, and we're back at Islands of Adventure Universe Studios Orlando because the princess wants some uh, tots. Some pizza tots. I've been trying really hard to get these tots for a long time now, and it's finally a permanent addition on the menu. So I don't have to stress out about whether or not they have it, whether or not the chef knows that it's available. Yeah, last time we came here, they turned us down. I had no idea what we were talking about when it was like a pass holder exclusive. So now it's finally time to try these and give you guys our opinion. So let's uh, get some green eggs and ham. Be sure not to eat green eggs and ham. I will not eat them, said Sam I am. You heard and, the girl. And he's also said to subscribe. The long-awaited pepperoni pizza tot. I'm kind of sad it took this long to get to this, but I'm happy that we're here in this moment. We got everything all in one bite. We got cheese, we got tot, we got pepperoni, sauce. It legit tastes like pizza. It doesn't taste like tots at all. It really feels like I just bit into a pizza. And I actually love it. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I think it's a princessity's item. I think it's way better than I expected it to be. Universal is really doing such a good job with these vegan options. Disney should take some notes. Already, before I even take a bite into these, this is a much better option than the, uh, some would say legendary, I would say infamous, in a bad way, uh, legendary pizza fries from uh, Universe Studios during Halloween Horror Night. Two people love pizza fries. Modified, it was literally marinara sauce and fries, which I thought was terrible, and this was cheaper than that, which begs the question, if they can do it over here at Islands Adventure, where the pizza fries over at Universal Studios? They had this over here at Islands of Adventure for during, Mardi Gras during Halloween Horror Nights too. Right. Here we go. Nice little bits of cheese. Nice thick tot. Got some uh, nipple-sized pepperoni. Depending on your love of nipples. Either way, this is still a family channel. Maybe. I don't know why I continue to doubt Universal's commitment to these plant-based options because this is actually good. Pepperoni is like pepperoni. The cheese tastes like cheese. The cheese is a little bit melty. It's not as melty as like I would expect, but it's it's soft enough to where you'll barely notice when you start it in your mouth. The mouthfeel is great. The sauce is great. I could do with a little bit more uh, like marinara sauce or tomato-based sauce in the bottom. Other than that. I said this is a solid entry. Another, um, I wouldn't say home run. The infield home run for Universal. Four and a half out of five plus. Here I am, once again, as a bear, risking my life to bring you guys treats. Green eggs and ham. Or yes, I am gonna eat green eggs and ham. Even this white queso that might put me on the can. I've always been interested in these fries. I never really read the description until today when it said white queso. Um, this is a mixed bag. Uh, how this affects me really depends on how processed this cheese is. If it's fresh queso, I'm probably in trouble. Being in this quick service, I'm probably gonna be fine. You do have some nice green egg, seasoned green egg, a little flakes in there, little bits of like cubed ham like you'd see on maybe like a frozen Tostino's pizza. 
with a healthy dose of queso. It's like covered in the queso. Let's try to get a little bit of the ham here. Get a little bit of the egg here. Get a bit of the tot here. Look at that. Cat in the Hat would be absolutely proud of this display. It's absolutely covered. Plenty of egg, plenty of ham, plenty of cheese. What could go wrong? Interesting. It tastes like a powdered egg. So it's quick service. So I'm not really sure much that I care that it's a powdered egg. It definitely doesn't taste like a fresh, fluffy egg. I would say that even like the plant-based eggs that we have are tasted better than this. Uh, it's got some seasoning to it. The cheese, the queso cheese, it is processed. I can tell pretty easily. So I'm probably not going to die by eating this. But it's a fun snack. It's tasty. It's got some character in it, and we love themed food here on this channel. Uh, I'd have to say if I'm comparing them, I actually think that the vegan pizza tots are better than the green eggs and ham. But I wouldn't turn this down if you handed me a plate. Give this four out of five plus. But would you eat them with Sam I am? I would eat them with Sam I am. And Frodo. And Bilbo. And wait, wrong universe. Either way, yes I am. Green eggs and ham. I am full. Yes. It is hot outside. It's very hot outside. I do feel like it is a Princess City's item to try the vegan tots. However, if you're not into like Totino's pizza or like a super fast foodie artificially pizza, it's not going to be your jam. I stand by that Tostino's pizza has fed an entire generation. Our generation I mainly. I don't disagree. But it, it was good. Uh, definitely better than the pizza fries we had at the Universal Studios. I would be willing to come back and try it if something changed by any means. Uh, Universal is absolutely knocking out of the park with these plant-based dishes. My dish is okay. Her dish is better. We just lost this time is all. Oh, and life pro tip. If you get hot at Universal, just buy a bottle and keep using a freestyle machine. Water is free here, people. Stay hydrated. Bring a water bottle. Don't even buy a plastic one. Bring your own reusable bottle do, and fill Do it what out. you have to do to survive. That's, that, that's the bear selling you today. If there's anywhere else you'd like to see us go, notification is going to be placed. So, wait. Yes. yes. If there's anyone else like to see us go, the comments are going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And if you don't comment, mm. Bear is never going to Marvel Superhero Island. He's going to stay here in Seussland. Because he starts in Canada the wrong way. You heard the girl. Canada.